Right now we are on the shores of Calcasieu Lake in southwest Louisiana. We are in a staging area uh, for an oyster restoration shoreline protection project. Oysters throughout really the world, but especially in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, their populations have declined, both in terms of numbers, but also in terms of habitat. We have a lot less habitat that oysters make. What we're doing here is these wire baskets filled with rock, they're called gabions, and each of those is sort of a reef unit, and they're constructed, and then they actually get taken out onto the water and placed along the shoreline in the water. And we've, this project right now, we're putting out about a mile of reef this summer, uh, and it's in addition to about the mile, a mile and a half of reef that's already out there. As you can see, it's just rocks, so there's no oysters on it, but it's a substrate upon which larval oysters or baby oysters can attach, grow, and reproduce. And so over time, these boxes of rocks will actually turn into a living reef. So the goals of this Oyster Restoration Shoreline Protection Project are obviously to get oysters to grow in this structure and, and survive and reproduce and maintain themselves over space and time. It's also to protect the adjacent shoreline from wind energy to slow down land loss and even reverse it because oysters feed by filtering water. One of the goals is to maintain and improve water quality. And then oysters are also a really great complex habitat. And so lots of shrimp and crabs and fish like to really get in there and either hide from predators or feed. Oysters can help under you know storm conditions too. Again, they add a measure of resilience and that's important to the coast everywhere, especially in states like Louisiana where we're losing so much coastal wetland annually. There is a real restoration economy. I mean, in doing this, you know, we've, we've got, you know, two couple teams of contractors that are working on it that are out here for, you know, gonna, gonna be out here for over a month and it, it employs a lot of people. You know, that's kind of a nice touch too is because this is a firm, it's actually a Louisiana firm. And so again, you know, we're, we're able to work with people locally to protect local places. You know, in the state of Louisiana, the Nature Conservancy has done a, a good bit of oyster restoration. We've done a lot of work in the southeast part of the state. That's kind of where we started. And overall, once this project is complete this summer, we will have a total of about seven and a half miles of reef out collectively. And that's no small thing. You know, that, that's, that's a pretty significant contribution to, to oyster restoration recovery and shoreline protection.